Greetings, Laddingtons, and welcome back to good old Lustria. They have just released another DLC to this absolute masterpiece of a game, so I thought to just make a short Let's Play video to showcase the Hunts Marshall's Expedition. And I do this because I believe this game to be one of the best games I've ever played, and I do say that because it invokes a certain a certain feeling, and it has a certain aesthetics which are um, beneficial to our great cause of uh, becoming forces of nature. So if you see in the background here, you can see the Empire coming in with ships to colonize the New World, and on the right, sa right hand side you see the verdant, unconquered Lustria. So it's a game that invokes the feeling of epicness, heroism and adventure. So I am a great fan of this game and that's also because I'm a great fan of Warhammer in general. And then of course also whenever I make a let's play I get to comment why are you making gaming videos. Well that's because I believe gaming to be an absolutely brilliant way to portray culture and to partake in a story and to get some inspiration. And of course, as I always say, if you do game, if you're a gamer, be sure to game in moderation and be, and be sure to only game when you have taken care of the business for the day. So if you have been to the gym, if you've done your other work, you can relax, unwind a bit. And there is absolutely not a single soul in the world who can do work 24 7. Everyone needs downtime and I believe gaming to be a good way to have some downtime, to relax, to recharge your batteries, so keep that in mind. Anyway, we have in this particular DLC, we have Marcus Wolfhart. Nice uh, name, of course. And we also have another mad cunt, which is called Nakai the Wanderer. Now we will play as Marcus in this DLC, but I just thought to show this absolute unit. Look how juicy he is. He has not been skipping deadlift today, as you can see on his the sick physique. So anyway, back to the monstrous shall be slain. So we have an initial challenge of hard, which is which is fine, and then some different bonuses, primarily to ambushing and uh, an upkeep for archers. So I will play on legendary and battle hard. I think that's a good a good mix for a challenging gameplay and I'll see if I will make more episodes on this. This is mostly to showcase the game and to show this new DLC. So let's get into the game itself. The jungle continent of Lustria lies west across the great ocean. The first men to land upon these shores ransacked an ancient temple, filling their ships with golden treasures. Word spread of their wealth, and others were eager to follow. Fueled by greed, men of the Empire ventured deeper into the jungle's heart. The land of beasts ravaged and plundered for its riches. It will not be without consequence. The jungle stirs. A cold-blooded fury rising to punish the invaders. In the temple cities of Lustria, the lizard men enact a ritual to call upon their mighty guardian. For the wanderer roams Lustria once more. The spirit of the jungle made manifest. A 
reckoning has come. Only the strongest will survive the coming bloodshed. So yes, that's exactly what I mean with the aesthetics and the feel to the game. I don't know if you feel the same when watching stuff like this. Maybe I'm biased because I've always been a great Warhammer fan, but I do believe if you can draw inspiration from this type of settings, it's uh, it's uh, definitely a great thing. So um, yeah, I will do a glorious session after recording this and it will probably be at some sort of outdoor gym and it will be then to perform a hundred chin-ups. ...infested continent and plunder it for the treasures it holds. The near unimaginable wealth of these lands is dispatched home through the coastal colonies. But recent raids by the lizard beasts have set the empire back and I expect further attacks. Other enemies loom nearby. Savage orcs, no less, who raid nearby abandoned cities. These ancient places are sure to harbor more riches, so are prime locations for colonization. But we must be aware that the lizard beasts dominate these jungles. For our colonies to survive their threat, reinforcements will be needed from home. The time of opportunity is now. Lustria and its dangers await. Anything that stands before me in the hope of defeating the Empire will meet its end by my bow. It is the Emperor's will. Alright, as I said, peak optics, peak aesthetics. And if you want to look at... Yeah, uh, peak um, aesthetics, man, you can look at the Emperor Karl Franz. Uh, in this game also. So anyway, let's see what the crack is. We have how they play. And also when I say the crack, it's an Irish saying. It's basically saying what's what's fun, what's going on, or what's up. Uh, so, the crack is that the Emperor's Mandate, sent to the shores of Lustria by Imperial Mandate, Marcus Wolfhart intends to protect the New World colonies from their Lustrian predators with only limited supplies and troop numbers, as further reinforcements will not arrive from the old world for quite some time. Okay, but we can get more things if we uh, do glorious things. The beasts of this land must be removed if our colonies are to flourish. The first blow must be swift and lethal. It is vital we act quickly before these monsters can move against us. All right, we need to remove these uh, monsters. We have Berry Drury, and it's—I think it might actually be a um, halfling, a hobbit. That particular gentleman. Um, all right, let's get into the game itself then. We're gonna first and foremost, which I usually do when I play this game, Relations look at the diplomacy, me. see if we can initiate trade with someone. And we have all the listedment factions do not like us in the least. Then we have some Norsemen. Lost Erikson of the Cool. He uh, doesn't like us either. We can't trade with these guys. We have New World Colonies, Helmut Nussbacher, and this is um, Come in peace and an, an Imperial as well, so he will probably want to be our friend. You can see if we want to be an defensive alliance as well. Uh -huh. How about just a trade agreement? We will. Nice, now we have increased our income. It's always a nice thing. And then we have Vampire Coast Mutineers. Do you want to trade with me? We'll probably not, but we can have a non-aggression pact. And what happens now is that the longer we have a treaty with these guys, the more likely it is that we can have a trade agreement later on. 
So now that's done. We have increased our income just a bit. Now we're gonna see. We have a little army. And we have a. I don't know exactly what it might be. A feral Bastilon can be quite hard to deal with. But we do have a good, good setup here as well. What is the most reasonable to do, in my humble opinion, is to recruit some units and we'll go with the archers, I suppose. Dun dun dun. Because we have some infantry to hold the line. And since he had uh, some bonuses for archers, we're going to focus on that. And then, of course, Temple of Tlekan. And uh, let's see if we actually need this building. We can't really build anything else, so I suppose that will have to be the first step. And then the technology. Go in here. Mass produced small ammunition, so 10% plus ammunition for all of our ranged laddingtons. And then we have Colonial Library. I like the different uh, things here, Colonial Factors. Hunting Advances. Recruit Rank, plus 2 for all Imperial Supplies Units, can be good too. And Seaborn Logistics. Right, so we have some um, different things here that might be good. Uh, let's actually go with this one, missiles, so we um, come a bit better in, um, in battle, I suppose. And then we'll take the turn and see what happens in the next turn here. Maybe they will actually attack us and we have a battle on our hand in this episode. Yes, we do have a battle, and um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get this done. Let's get this done, and um, yeah, we have some some archers, one, two units. Then we have a war wagon, missile chariot. Uh, haven't seen this before. It's a new addition to the game. Then of course, Marcus himself will be nice to see in action. Alright, we are in the battle, and uh, we will start by deploying these mad cunts about there, including our gallant Marcus Wolfhart, which will then hopefully bring the listenmen coming up to face them, which means that we can have these shooting them in the flank. And the Empire Endures. Let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, that's that's quite cool. Aesthetic barding on the horses as well. So a war wagon full of uh, full of laddingtons ready to shoot. And we'll just keep our infantry there, I suppose. And uh, boom, let's start the battle. And uh, see what this lizardman might bring to the table. So we have the feral Bastilladon. Bastilladon is how you say it, I suppose. Which might be a problem. So we'll have to keep our spearmen to fight off that, that unit. We also have a focused shot, which is a magic missile. So we're gonna shoot this uh, this monster with this special shot. See what happens. Boom. Alright, yeah, that's good enough. Um, right, so they are coming towards our archers. We'll have to pull them back so they don't get into melee combat. That wouldn't be good at all. Now let's see. Yes, that's good. So we're slowly but surely getting the HP down upon this uh, this unit. Maybe we can actually engage our spearmen to deal with it. 
as well. And right, let's see what's happening here. Done. I have to get this away from combat as well. And no spearmen, you were not supposed to engage there. Let's see if I can get them to break loose, so we can engage the Bastilladon. Right, we have routed the skink cohort. Nice. And right, if I'm not that talkative, it's because I'm desperately trying to focus on winning this important battle. Okay, if you can just break out there, I would be happy. And I think we can actually charge in to melee with these guys. Boom! Yes, we could. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, let's shoot this. Where is it? There is the Bastelladon. Alright, Spearman, I encourage you to uh, cut this, this uh, monster down. And I have skirmish mode on this. I suppose we don't really need to, because I think Marcus can can take on Karok in single combat. I'm not quite sure though, but um, we'll see. Boom! Epic. Let's see how things fare up here. Yes, and I'm completely correct in assuming that Marcus will deal with this uh, monster here. Looks like uh, quite a mad cunt, though, the, uh, the enemy there. No, our war wagon has... Uh, has routed. But, uh, yeah, they have rallied. And I suppose this looks quite um, quite good for us. See if we can get away another shot here from our magic bow. Boom! Killing blow. Nice. Well done, Marcus. Well done indeed. Right, so I do believe we have this battle. Uh, they are fleeing, and yes, we do. We do. That will have to be a good and satisfactory conclusion to this episode, I suppose. So, not the longest of um, Let's Play videos, but again, I just want to mainly actually show you that intro, because I uh, it was the first time I saw it, but I um, I suspected it was going to be great, which, uh, which it was. Since it is autumn, I will make more Let's Plays of some sort of game, because that's how autumns should be, and I know they are somewhat appreciated, at least, when uh, it's getting a bit darker outside. So uh, do let me know if there is any particular game you would like me to make Let's Plays of. And we'll kill these captives. So they retreat there, and we can recruit some more units. I'm just gonna take this uh, this turn before I check out. Right, last thing. Just going to see what fun things. Focused shot, cooldown. Uh, boom, let's go with that. Alright, thank you for watching, and I wish you all a great weekend ahead. XOXO, boom.